Tools for Sequence Alignment Presented for Bio4u.com A lot of sequence alignment tools are available, in bioinformatics. A few are, FOSTA, BLAST, Hammer, H, S Suit, etc. This video explains, a detailed account of the FOSTA algorithm. The current FOSTA package, contains programs for, protein, protein, DNA, DNA, protein translated DNA, with frame shifts, and ordered, or unordered peptide searches. Recent versions of the FOSTA package include, special translated search algorithms, that correctly handle frame shift errors, which six frame translated searches, do not handle very well, when comparing nucleotide to protein sequence data. In addition to rapid heuristic search methods, the FOSTA package provides, search, and implementation of the optimal Smith-Waterman algorithm. A major focus of the package is, the calculation of accurate similarity statistics, so that biologists can judge, whether an alignment is likely to have occurred by chance, or whether it can be used to infer homology. The FOSTA package is available from the University of Virginia, and the European Bioinformatics Institute. The FOSTA file format used as input, for this software is now largely used by, other sequence database search tools, such as BLAST, and sequence alignment programs, Clustal, Key Coffee, etc. Introduction FOSTA and BLAST are very popular tools, for sequence alignment. In this video course, I am going to explain the FOSTA tools and their implementation in brief. This course is specially designed, for bioinformatics students of an undergraduate, and postgraduate student, and anyone who is interested in, bioinformatics, and sequence. In this course, I am going to cover 1. FOSTA 2. FOSTA algorithm 3. FOSTA implementation 4. FOSTA output as result FOSTA algorithm The FOSTA algorithm is a heuristic method for string comparison. It was developed by Lippmann and Pearson in 1985 and further improved in 1988. FOSTA compares a query string amongst a single text string. When searching the whole database for matches to a given query, we compare the query using the FOSTA algorithm to every string in the database. When looking for an alignment, we might expect to find a few segments in which there will be absolute identity between the two compared strings. The algorithm is using this property and focuses on these identical regions. It is a word-based method. It looks for matching word or the sequence patterns called k-tuples. It then builds local alignment based on the matches. Process of FOSTA algorithm. There are four steps in the FOSTA algorithm process. The first step is, find runs of identical words. This will identify regions, shared by the two sequences, that have the highest identity of single residue identities, dup equals 1, or two consecutive identities, dup equals 2. Observe the diagram, which gives the result of the first stem, the words of two sequences are aligned as single residues. Second step is, rescore using PAM matrix. It keeps the best score. It rescan the best regions, identified in step 1, using the percentage accepted mutation, or PAM 250 matrix. The single best score is stored, as in at 1, for reporting later. Observe the diagram, which shows the best score aligned. Step 3, join segments, using gaps, and eliminate other segments. It determines if gaps can be used to join, the regions identified, in step 2. If so, determine a similar score, for the gapped alignment, which is reported as inton. See the figure, the gap is shown. Step 4, use, dynamic programming or DP to create the optimal alignment. Construct an optimal alignment of the query sequence, and the library sequence, Smith-Waterman algorithm. This score is reported as the optimized score. Here, the width of the two bands is the parameter. First of all, you just type in the address bar, that is the ebik i.ac.uk slash tools slash triple s slash pasta and slash then uh, you will get a, a new window and this window will appear like this so it is actually the pasta window 
and in this master window there are a lot of uh, options are there that is a protein a sequence analysis a nucleotide a genome proteins etc so so we are interested in the protein so just to click on the protein and uh, then you will see that a protein similarity search so in this protein similarity search you can see step number 1 and select your database so a lot of database different type of databases are available here so as per my view it is better to initiate uh, for the beginners uniprot uh, and swissprot database so select this one <coughs> then you can see that uh, this uh, step number 2 then in the step number 2 they are asking to uh, enter your input sequence the input sequence is better in the FASTA format. So FASTA format means starting with greater than sign. So for that, I am not going to input a new data. I will take an example for just to clear the how the procedure will go forward. Okay. So I will take an example. Here is the example sequence. Click here. So an example sequence is appeared here. This example is actually uh, begins with a greater sign so that a greater sign indicating that the sequence is in pasta format okay so this is actually human insulin like growth factor binding protein complex okay so this is the uh, pasta sequence uh, we input as an example okay otherwise you can select your file or you can input in the pasta format any protein sequence or dna uh, so if you select here protein you should uh, input the uh, protein sequence or if you dna uh, you must input uh, the nucleotide sequence okay so then uh, go to the step number three uh, set your parameters so the parameter we are going to study the uh, faster uh, similarity search so faster is the target okay and more options you leave this at uh, this moment and then step four is the submit your job okay so if you want email uh, then you click here and and give the email so otherwise you will leave it free okay so uh, i think it is better to give email because it will take a long time for the submission after the submission the result will appear it will take a little time so if the sequence is longer it will take a long time so if the sequence is short as the sequence is see here the sequence is very short it will not take that much time so uh, i will go without giving the uh, email id okay uh, i got the result here so in the result section you will see summary table tool output visual output functional prediction submission details okay so in the summary table you can see the different uh, similarity search the similarity search that is showing 100 percent it is a well and good so you can select this one otherwise uh, uh, if not 100 the nearest the highest value those having the highest value that you select and uh, you proceed the further uh, study on this sequence okay then another one i will show the different uh, different options here then tool output click on the tool output it will lead a new window in this window you can see the different uh, tool output so here all human insulin like growth factors so there are a lot of uh, sequences are given here and here uh, see here uh, this is the uh, zero and zero means the maximum alignment is uh, uh, is on the zero otherwise uh, 1.5 e e means actually the negative value it is very near to zero but the zero is better than uh, near to zero so this is the best uh, candidate uh, you have to select this one and proceed the research forward okay so here download there are so many download options download xml format etc okay then let us see the visual output so in the colored visual output it will give so see how it appearing okay and this is the colored output so here the beautiful colored output is given and you can select any one and you can use this chart as such in the research paper or you can study further and uh, interpret your result uh, as per as per the, uh, the our visual output okay or you can download in svg format also click here to download svg format here two option given one fixed and then dynamic dynamic is better because uh, dynamic uh, will show the uh, the changes at the fraction of second uh, if we fix it it will fix no change will take place okay then next uh, functional prediction 
when you click on the functional predictor prediction it will lead to a new window in this window you can see the uh, different uh, functional the sequence the sequence will split and it will show the different sequences and uh, whatever you want you click click there and select uh, as per your need okay so this is the visual uh, functional predictions and uh, finally you can see uh, see here uh, the submission details so in the submission details uh, all the details uh, that you used to submit to the sequence that will appear here for example sequence it is a protein matrix bl15 match mismatch scores and open minus 10 and the most important is the uh, k tup it is a tup uh, mostly the proteins we take a protein so it is uh, in between the 1 and 2 if it is a dna it is uh, near about 5 to 20 okay so that is the uh, output of the first uh, first uh, program or the first uh, parameters okay so you can use this data uh, for your research purpose also okay